If your child is working on speech sounds, it's important that they're able to hear the difference between when their speech is produced accurately or when it sounds a little distorted. So one tip that I recommend is to record them. Have them video record themselves on your phone, say three or four or five words, and then play it back. What do they think about the way that they produce their speech sounds? Do they think they should try it again? Or do they think that they figured it out? Less reliant on you requesting that they repeat it and they're better able to assess their own speech. The game telephone can be a lot of fun, especially when it goes wrong. But what if we try to make it go right? This is an activity that's working on processing information and recall. So if you give them a larger sentence and ask them to repeat what you say, you're supporting their ability to hear information, repeat it, use grammatical structures correctly, vocabulary, lots of things. Working to improve auditory recall skills? Give your child a few numbers and then ask them to repeat them back to you in the same order or backwards. So for example, four, three, seven, eight. Eight, seven, three, four. If your child starts to pick up speed and speak really quickly about an event that happened during the day, whoa, that is super fast talk. And using a bunny rabbit or saying rabbit talk helps the child to understand that zoop zoop, they are speaking way too fast for their listener to understand. So modeling slow, smooth speech also backs up your request for asking them to slow it down too. Because after all, we have to practice what we preach. When your child starts demonstrating repetitions of words or phrases, before you get worried about stuttering, make sure you're doing these few things to help them with their environment. Make sure you're looking at them when they're speaking. We're all guilty of turning our bodies away when our kids are talking because we're juggling 17 different things, but making sure your shoulders and your eyes are facing your child while they're speaking. Do not bring bumpy speech to their attention. Do not interrupt them. Let them finish their thoughts and express it however it comes out. And also modeling slow, smooth speech is another great tip. So don't interrupt them. Give them your full attention and model slow, smooth speech.